Okay. Honest? Yes, that's okay. correct. Thank you. It's the 150. You have to make your way down to side B. Oh, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that um, bell button so you get all the notifications of my episode. I am actually having a good day today because we are going whale watching. That is correct. Whale watching is actually very famous here in Sydney during the month of May all the way to November. It is a time of uh, migrations of the whale all the way from Antarctica that goes straight to Queensland and Queensland all the way here to Sydney so it's the best time to explore and check out the whales here in Sydney and also with the current restrictions nowadays there are only a few limited places that you can allow into the boat I'm currently waiting for my boat to go out from the wharf 6 all the way out to the ocean Pacific Ocean so we can have a better view of the whale so they guarantee that if we don't see any whales today, they can also refund the money or get you another booking day that you can um, reserve for the next one. My best value whale watching cruise begins at either Tarling Harbour or Circular Quay, but I managed to get the Circular Quay one, where you will be boarded uh, on a modern catamaran with comfortable viewing areas both indoors and outside. So on board, we are all being introduced to our friendly expert whale watching crew as a marine biologist and host for the daily guides as we go through the safety briefing and vessel facilities. So while taking in the famous Sydney Harbour site headed to the ocean, we've also been briefed with the life jacket demonstrations, tips to help you spot the whales, and of course, and how to avoid or manage seasickness. Now you understand why I'm wearing a face mask because Fantasy has a COVID-19 safety plan which are committed to keeping everyone safe on board that include limited numbers of passengers in each cruise to comply with the four square per person requirements social distancing is a must and also all passengers and crew must wear a face mask on well watching cruises so please bring your own or a free face mask will be provided on board
was a long ride so we've been there for three hours just watching and looking out for any whales at all but we couldn't find any today so it's 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 quite of a bit of a letdown but you know it is what it is but we'll try to find it out but we might well, maybe one day but the only thing about this company that I booked in is that once you actually couldn't find any sightseeings of any whales at all so they will definitely refund you or you can also rebook them on some other dates but I don't think I will in a short period of notice well the only thing that I was just like worried about the seasick and the emotions when you are actually looking out for whales because today was so difficult because everyone was just like gasping for air outside because um, it was so windy it's not only windy but the waves are just so strong that everyone just wanted to vomit so it's not really um, a way that people could could spend most of those three hours in there so if you get stuck in there for three hours and you have issues with seasickness then um, whale watching is not really for you but I had a good time though I was trying to hold my breath I brought trying to hold everything so I can just enjoy it but you know it's good it is quite really nice today so 28 degrees in the sun of Sydney what I don't know how this vlog will end up, but anyway, 